Hey everybody, it's Saturday, March 4th, 2023. Now you're here in the workshop. Um, Emily's working on building beehive stands. So again, the beehives are gonna be way off here in the distance. We were working on that the other day, getting the little raised areas with the gravel put in and get those set. But now today we are working on beehive stands. So the other night we made our first two prototypes. Emily really took this one on herself and uh, did a decent job with it, but the metal when you start welding will kind of kick in and it, it moves unless you really support it and clamp it well. So really doing the first one, it took two people to really hold and get everything aligned and make sure it was square and you don't bump it and all that stuff. So this is prototype A. This is the equivalent of my first concrete job, um, which we'll go over there to admire it again. See how it looks. Again, gonna get another load of concrete on Wednesday morning. Um, but all in all, it, it's not horrible. Like I said, there's just those spots where it was thin. So again, never doing this kind of thing before, doing these little projects, all that. Um, there's a learning curve to everything. So that's what we're working on today. Beehive stands. With these stands, what we're doing is we've got some one inch uh, square tubing, square bar, whatever. We go to Thomasville, Georgia. That's only about 30 minutes away from the, the farm here. So Jones's has, it's a welding supply. So you can get all your gas and all your stuff there. But we got the square tubing there um, for about a 20, 24 foot piece. It's about 20 bucks. Um, whereas if you go get a three to four foot piece at Lowe's, or Home Depot, it's about 20 or 30 bucks. So a lot more material for like wholesale costs. But what we're doing is we're cutting 13 inch legs. Um, and then what Emily's doing after we got the four legs cut is then I'm helping her weld this horizontal bracket to keep the legs from moving in and out. And once you really got this established, the rest goes pretty quick. But the legs, just like anything, support is the most important. So it's been over here grinding the edges of it. When you do welding, you guys probably already know this, but you gotta have to have clean metal to weld against. So after I've been cutting them here on the chop saw at 13 inches, she's going over there and grinding the sides. So again, after we get the uh, metal cut, Emily's gotta take the angle grinder here and smooth out all the little rough edges, one, so you don't cut yourself, but also have clean areas where you can weld to it. So. Next, what we're gonna do is start forming these up and tack welding them, which is Emily's favorite part. All right, so now that we got these things uh, ground down with the angle grinder, these are magnets. Uh, the magnets kind of keep them in place, but I wouldn't trust the magnets for how square it is. We've used a level as a straight edge. That way she knows that the feet are now flat. And then we've also confirmed it with speed square that it's a perfect angle. So now Emily's just going to tack weld this one side. And now we're going to move to the other side after she's tack welded it and uh, do that side. Now with both sides welded, moment of truth is to Set it on the ground, see if it stands up on its own. Look at that. Two of them standing up on their own. So now that they're tacked, what Hot Rod's got to do here is uh, finish the welds to complete them. So all we did was tack them. Now she's finishing the welds. I got those three stands done. Now she's got to get that going. So once she's got them welded, Kind of stand them up there make sure they stand up straight and then we got to put the horizontal brackets on them so that's where i got to help her hold while she tacks those and 
then finishes the weld. But so far, so good. All right, so now that we've got these things on the ground, we made sure that the cross beams that actually hold the V-box are level. And now she's just tacking the legs. the horizontal uh, L, uh, the angle iron so once it's all tacked like that now she's got to finish all the welds confirm that it fits with the bee box and there you go you've got a beehive stand here at Deer Run Farm